Introducing WEM. Go to WEM.io and log in with your email and password. From the WEM dashboard, click on My Project to open the WEM Modeler. The WEM Modeler always starts with the Flowcharts folder. This is the heart of your application. We are going to build a basic CRM application to manage company data. Create a new application by creating a new flowchart. Within the flowchart editor, you can drag and drop all the elements you need to build your application. Drag and drop blue user interaction nodes to create user interaction screens. You can change the node properties like the name. You can create your application flow by simply drawing arrows. Just point and click the nodes you want to connect. You can preview your application real-time at any time during the development process. Create your data model without any SQL knowledge. Just create database lists and add fields to it. You can create any type of field, like text, logical, or date fields, without limitations. Just select New Field and select a type of field. And even add validations to the fields. You can use the data models within your flowchart. If you want to display your company data in your user interaction screen, just double click on a blue user interaction node to open the template editor. In the data panel on the right side of the screen, you will find the company data model list you just created. Place a data grid list view on the screen. and then select desired fields. Now you can preview your application. Notice that the data grid is already on the screen, but still empty. To add data to the company list, Drag and drop a green list node on the flowchart and select the company data model list. Notice that the default action is add row and that you can select other list actions. Connect the blue user interaction node with the green list node by drawing an arrow between them. WEM automatically asks for a new button exit to trigger the add row action. The add row action will be triggered by a button called new company. You can rearrange your flowchart at any time. Return to the template editor to place the new company button on the user interaction screen. The next thing we have to do is create a data entry form to fill in company data. Just drag and drop a user interaction node on the flowchart and connect it to the green list node. Just as we did in the previous user interaction screen, we use the data model on the right side of the screen. But in this case, we use a form instead of a data grid. Now select the desired fields by double-clicking them. Next, we are going to create two button exits. One to cancel our actions and one to save our data. We want to display our buttons in a button bar, so we just select Show in button bar and click OK.
To save all our list changes, just drag and drop a green save node on the flowchart and connect it to the save button exit. To cancel all our list changes, just drag and drop a green discard node on the flowchart and connect it to the cancel button exit. To complete the flowchart, link the green nodes to the Company Overview User Interaction node and preview your application. Notice that the Cancel and Save buttons are placed in the button bar of the screen. If you want to edit the stored data, just draw an arrow between the Company Overview and the Company Details User Interaction nodes and create a button exit called Edit. Return to the template editor and select the company data grid. Change the data grid property on the row click into Follow Edit. You can display the company details screen as an overlay window by selecting Show as Overlay. Now you can edit the company data by clicking on a row and changing the data. Clicking on Save will update the company data list. To create static pick lists in your application, you can use the WEM ontology. Here you can create ontology root concepts. For instance, when you want to register the type of industry with a company, just create the ontology root industry, and then the corresponding children like automotive, banking, IT, and transportation. Now we can use the ontology concept in our data model as a single select pick list. Select the root concept you just created. Now you only have to adjust your user interaction screens by selecting the new single select field, Industry. Integrating your application with external data sources is very easy. Go to the Web Services Consume folder and add a web service. You can use an existing service from the web. In this case, we are going to use a SOAP-based integration for zip codes and addresses. Just copy the Web Service URL and place it in the Web Services Consume folder. You can specify your own self-conceived name and click OK. WEM now imports the definition file into the project. Notice that there are three methods with their own input and output fields. Now we can use these fields in our workflow and user interaction screens. The imported web services are available in our data panel on the right side of the screen. You can use the available fields in exactly the same way as we did with the data model fields. We are going to use the input fields in a data entry form. Select the desired fields by double clicking them. Next, we have to trigger the web service and feed it with the input. We use a button Get Address to do so.
We can optionally adjust the look and feel of the button by selecting an icon and changing the color. Finally, we want to display the result of the web service. Instead of the standard field presentation, we use a so-called widget, in this case a Google Maps widget. Simply adjust the properties of the Google Maps widget and change the marker mode into coordinates. There are latitude and longitude fields available in the output fields of the web servers. We are going to use these two fields to feed the Google Maps widget. The next thing we have to do is to place a web service node on the flowchart. Drag and drop a gray web service node onto the flowchart and select the desired method. Connect the web service node to the user interaction node and select the button exit called Get Address. The result of the web service can be returned to the user interaction node to display. You can optionally add more available fields to the output of the screen.